So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an oxidase test. The oxidase test is an important enzyme test when you are identifying gram-negative bacteria. Oxidase, the oxidase test looks for the presence of the protein cytochrome oxidase, which is an important protein of the electron transport chain of some bacteria. The oxidase test uses a chromogenic reducing agent. So when the reagent itself, the oxidase reagent, becomes reduced, which happens when cytochrome oxidase is present, it will change colors into a dark purple color. To perform an oxidase test, you are going to take a sealed sterile swab, and you are going to open that sterile swab, being very careful not to touch the cotton tip. Don't touch it with your fingers, don't let the cotton tip touch anything on your desk or anywhere else. You are then going to take your bacteria, take a good sample of bacteria, and you are going to put several drops of oxidase reagent directly on to the organisms on that cotton swab. Drip several drops on, and then you're gonna wait for a little bit. With the oxidase test, it takes 30 seconds to a minute for it to show a positive result. If the oxidase test sits too long, it can give you a false positive. The oxidase reagent, over time, will eventually change colors in the presence of air. So it's important to read your results when you get them. Additionally, with the oxidase test, you're looking for a color change. So you want to make sure that the bacteria that you pick come from a colorless plate. If you take bacteria from a plate like a McConkie plate or an EMB plate, sometimes the bacteria may already have a color, and this can give you a false positive oxidase test. As you can see on this Q-tip, the color is changing, but I've made one a little bit earlier that have the better results so that you can see them clearly. A positive oxidase test has a pretty serious color change to a dark purple, almost a black color. A negative oxidase test after a few minutes would still be completely and totally clean.